What's up YouTube? Uh, coming at you today with a review of a uh, new knife company called Real Steel. And uh, these company, this company is making knives uh, and based out of China. And they were offering up some free knives for review on their Facebook page. And I think that offer was over July 31st. But uh, anyway, I commented on there and emailed back and forth with them a couple of times. And a couple months later, I had uh, three knives at the door to check out. Uh, they are a new company, like I mentioned, and they are a budget knife company. These retail all around $30. So you should see a street price around, you know, 15 or 20 or so on... Uh, eBay and elsewhere, but uh, they're all three liner locks, and they're all three multi-tools. Um, I would like to say right away that, uh, well, before I even mention that, the, the Real Steel website mentions that they are already associated with a famous knife company. So, when it comes to China knives, that could mean Benchmade, um... Spyderco, Kershaw, San Renmu. I did see a couple of models that they share with San Renmu, so that is possible. But this model uh, is a copy of the H and K Ghost, as a buddy of mine on Instagram pointed out. There is nothing different about the knife except the pocket clip and this texturing on the front portion of the G of the uh, handle here. It's not G10. I almost said G10. It's fiber reinforced nylon. So. But the Benchmade just has this same sort of gunner grip type texturing all the way. And this one does not. But other than that, it is a complete copy of that knife, which is kind of disappointing. Um, you know, at least it's not a fake. It doesn't say Benchmade on it. But if you're going to make new knives, you ought to make your own designs. That's just my opinion. Uh, this is a multi-tool. They all are have a bottle opener here. I thought it was supposed to be a can opener, but if you can see there, there's no bevel. It's not sharpened on either side. It's flat. So, that's a bottle opener. And then over here, just move the camera forward a few inches here. The sun. There we go. Uh, this is supposed to be a uh, safety cutter for uh, seat belts and things like that. And I'll get into that in a second as well, and then I'll show you these other knives for a second. Uh, this is the M21, and this is the M6. This one I gave to my boy, and uh, you can see he's used it a lot. He uh, has cut wood with it, he's sharpened his pencils, who knows what all he's done, he's 11, so... These also have the same tools. And then this one is the same, but it has the tan and black. These uh, smaller knives do have the G10. And tip down, you know, most Americans prefer tip up. I don't know about just Americans, but most knife guys. Um, so overall fit and finish is actually pretty good on them. I would say they are associated with some other knife company. If it is bench made, then why is you know why not say that? Just say we make the bench K, the bench made H and K Ghost, and here's our version of it with a different clip and a different handle. But you know, San Ren Mu is one of those budget China companies that people generally have a good opinion of when they try them out and. Uh, you know, they make a, a copy of the Sabenza and a couple of the Benchmade Axis locks, and I'm sure there's mixed opinions on things out there, but they're not fakes. They're copies, so generally for 10 or 15 bucks, it's not a bad way to try out, you know, the poor man's Sabenza, they call it, or an Axis lock. So uh, overall fit and finish, though, like I said, was pretty good on these. They all came phone book paper sharp. Uh, the steel on all three is... 
ITR 14 MOV, liner locks, all of them have good lockup, all of them have decent detent. Uh, I don't like the ergonomics on this one, of course it's rectangular, they all have a glass break. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not that great in the hand. The jimping sticks out past the handle everywhere on the liners, on the bottoms, and on the top. So, it's not too aggressive, but it's just not very comfortable. Uh, the M6, on the other hand, is actually very comfortable. Those handles are contoured. Focus. Those handles are contoured nicely. Rounded off everywhere. It's a heavy knife. It could do without the useless multi-tools, and it would be even better. You know, you got a lot of, a lot of weight back there with all those tools and liners and solid back spacer. Uh, nicer pocket clip, really, than the H and K had. And again, just nice, nice factory edge. I couldn't find a phone book, but I have a piece of newspaper print here. show you the factory edge is actually really nice on these. Yeah. That was a slow push cut there at the end. I mean, they, they actually came, like I said, with a real nice edge. And if the uh, heat treats nice on the HCR 14 MOV, it ought to hold up pretty well. Uh, there's no chips or anything in the one my boy's been using. You can see a little reflection of light right through here. So it's got a couple of little spots, but no dings. Nothing terrible. There's gunk on there, actually. Yeah, that wasn't a reflective spot. So, it's not doing too bad so far. This one will actually still cut loose print as well. Not as cleanly. Here a couple times there, but he loves it, uh, and for the money, not too bad. But you know, it's just one of those things. It is what it is. They're gonna they're gonna make copies. That's what they've decided to do. Um, so you know, not gonna get into the politics there myself. I don't think for that money you're hurting anybody, but. Well, that's maybe going too far. I mean, I don't know how I feel about it. I think they ought to make their own designs. That's how I feel about it. Uh, let me show you the useless uh, cutters on the back of those. Got a piece of paracord here. Uh, there's a, I believe, German fella that I'm sub to. I think it's Fua Forest Films. I think. Sorry, I'm not remembering, but... A uh, German fella has some of these, and he demonstrated, he went out to an abandoned car in the woods and demonstrated that the cutter uh, would not cut seat belt. So I got out some paracord and thought I'd check it out, and, you know, this ought to just zip right through paracord. I mean, this is, uh, this should be nothing for this, but instead, it basically won't push cut it. Oop, spill the camera here. All right. See, it started to fray it a little bit, but it basically push cut it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is just not happening. But if you kind of rock it and saw, there you go, it'll finally jaggedly cut through there. That is terrible cutting of paracord. Uh, for anybody not into paracord, a good sharp steel there's two pieces of paracord. I told you these edges were nice from the factory. It should pop right through cleanly. You know, so that's that's piss poor. Um, don't don't waste space and wait on a useless tool. So there's my uh, overview on these knives, guys. Um, they do have a lot of different designs coming out. Very cool of them to send some knives out free for review, but I keep it real. And I'll tell you guys what I think. So thanks for watching. Everybody have a good one.